Ocho de Mayo. Just outside my balcony, a cold breeze scatters the litter of plum blossoms and trembles the birch catkins, the first flowers. And very little otherwise happens. Then, I saw him dash past on the street below, he with his tight, firm body, unfurled like a bolt of masculine lightning powered by his long, tanned legs and firm, pumping buttocks. And his clenched fists, swinging rhythmically, his lush dark hair and matching mustache, and sunglasses to conceal his transfixed gaze. At least, I imagined him with such a look. Too late, I ran to the window, pushed against the cold and passive glass, and stared intently as he passed. Table, tu sais, I whispered, half expecting him to turn around, but he kept running as I pressed tighter against the glass and I became suddenly aware that he ran too fast and the glass doesn't kiss back. 